Hi preschool! Today we are going to read Frenze's Light. This is a book about a little um, firefly. This is written by Jessica Kolaku and illustrated by Angela Lee. Frenze's Light, which means fluorescent in Italian. Frenze likes dancing. Frenze likes books. But there's one thing Frenze does not like. Frenze does not like her light. It's always shining at the wrong time. Look, she looks sad. Shining at the movies, at slumber parties, during games of hide and seek. Your light makes you unique, said her mother. No one shines like you do. I'll cover up my light, Frenze thought. She gathered leaves and wrapped them around her until her light was hidden. There, she can't, you can't see her light anymore. The next day, Frenze's friends needed help at the movies. Tick dropped his snack under the seat. Frenze, can you shine your light down here? What? What light? I don't have a light, snapped Frenze. Look, Tick can't find his stuff. At the slumber party, Natalie whispered, Frenze, make your light shine. I'm scared of the dark. Look, her friend over here looks so, so scared. But Frenze let out a loud snore and pretended to be asleep. During the game of hide and seek, Frenze hid in her best spot, deep in the bushes. There she is. Come out, Frenze, shouted Legs. It's too hard to find you when your light doesn't shine. Come out, Frenze. They couldn't find her. But Frenze pretended not to hear and she flew away as fast as she could. Frenze found herself deep in the forest, far away from her friends. She had hoped that they would forget about her light. She felt very sad. Just as she began to cry, she heard a strange sound coming from the bushes behind her. Hmm, look all. Oh, I wonder what it was. Munch, munch, munch. Frenze flew closer to investigate. Munch, 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 crunch. I love it. Ooh, I wonder what it is. What are you doing? asked Frenze. Creating my masterpiece, exclaimed a beetle, clicking his huge pincers. I'm Kearney, and I'm my and I'm using my magnificent pinchers to make a wonderful art. Isn't it amazing? Look at the art he's making with his pinchers. Love it. It's lovely, said Frenze. As she looked at Kearney's art, Frenzy's, land be Frenzy's light began to shine through the patterns of the leaves. Ooh, look at that. Oh, how beautiful, Frenze gasps, enchanted by the colors and shapes that appeared all around her. So look, Frenze's using her light and then they're using his art and it's shining all over here. Look how pretty it is. Look at the butterfly and the swirls and the flowers. Wow, whispered Kearney. Your light is making my art even more magical. What a wonderful gift you have. Oh no, said Frenze. I don't like my light. I wish it would go away. She began grabbing the leaves to wrap herself up. Uh oh. I understand, said Curry. I used to feel the same way about my pincers. But then I realized I am brilliant, I am wonderful, and I am unique. I wish I could feel like that about my light, Curry, but I don't, Frenzy exclaimed, and she flew home. A few days later, Frenzy received a package. Ooh, package in the mail. Dear Frenzy, I made this skirt just for you and I hope you will wear it to show off my art tomorrow. Your light is a gift. Let it shine. Love, Kiri. Ooh, look how pretty it is. Let's see what it is. Frenzy felt nervous as she arrived at the art show the next day, but as her light glimmed through her skirt, she saw the faces of her friends. How lovely! Brilliant! See what happens when you let your light shine. Ooh, let's see what happens. When Frenzy twirled on stage, she realized how powerful her light was. She was creating magical art, joy for her friends, and happiness in her heart. Suddenly, Frenzy felt very grateful and she that she was a firefly. She is on stage, dancing. Frenzy grew to love her light, even when it was difficult. She always remembered the night that she let her light shine for everyone to see. The end.